All right, we've been having a wonderful series. As a man thinketh, so is he. I talked to you, we started off on the mind, the attitude of the mind, the wisdom of the mind, the growth of the mind, the spirit of the mind, and here comes, I'm about to deal with this one. It's really the toughness, the strength of the mind. Guys, let's just face it. If you're gonna be successful, there's no path to success, real authentic success, that's not gonna be filled with opposition. <laughs> you, you're gonna face resistance. You're gonna have to face what people say. You're gonna have to face criticism. You're gonna have to face people who say, I don't like your vision, I don't like you, I don't want it to work out for you. So what are you gonna do? The mind can't be fragile and, and, and shattered. The mind has to be strong. It has to be able to take uh, uh, that type of resistance and that type of fire. So you've got to build mental toughness. And I can tell you, when it comes to strength, I like to recommend that you don't depend on your own strength. You've got to depend on something that faileth not. I read a book that says, hey, it's not by might, neither is it by power, but it is by my spirit. So really, the strength of my mind is its surrendered state to God's strength. Say, God, I don't want to do this on my own. I don't want my thinking or my, or my strength or my courage to be up to me alone. I want, to, I want to last because of your strength. He says, it is my strength uh, that, that allows your strength, in one sense, to be perfected, right? My strength is made perfect, really when? In my weakness. It's me saying, hey, I can't do it on my own. I tell you, the only recommendation I have for you is that when you build your strength and God's strength, it helps to keep your mind strong. You say, well, I look, I don't believe in God. I don't believe in this Bible. That's when you shut me off. No problem. Let me ask you this. What else could you depend on that will be strong in times that you are weak? Can you depend on others? I don't know if it's guaranteed that everybody's going to be strong at the time when you're weak. And can I tell you this? Life has proven that when you most need some folk, they just don't show up. What are you going to depend on? Things? Things change. What are you going to depend on? Your money? The Bible says that money will take up wings and fly away. What are you going to depend on? What else is so sustainable and long-lasting that has outlasted all other times? I don't know, folks. If you just want to deal with it by process of elimination, God, he was, be here. he was here before stuff, and after stuff is no longer stuff, he'll be here. So I don't have a recommendation for the strength, persistence of the mind, except it's surrendered state on something that is higher above. That's how I've been able to survive. And it's come down to my trust in God's faithfulness and his track record. He's kept me in the past. He'll keep me now. He'll keep me in the future. So the strength of the mind is your dependence on the solid truth of what God says. The solid truth in that he says, hey, you can become an overcomer. You have the victory to overcome everything that you face in life. And that's my recommendation to you. Put your mind in a state of a surrender to say, hey, I know I can't do it on my own. When things come against me, I know if I have God's strength in me, my mind can stand the test and overcome. It's been a great journey. I want you to take some of these, share somebody, send the link, hit somebody up in their WhatsApp, their, in their Twitter, their Facebook, their Instagram. Get somebody connected who needs to hear this stuff. It's a five-part series. It's short. It's potent. It's powerful. And it will get us really, really shaping up our thinking as we lead to success. Can't wait till we're here for our next series. We're going to have this thing rolling out all year. It's going to be exciting as we really dig into the laws and principles that will lead to a successful life. God bless each and every one of you. Bye-bye.